Hey everybody, this is the fourth tutorial for Open Element. And today I'm going to really quickly touch on the scripts of uh, Open Element. Now, although it is not required to design a website, you don't need to know a single line of code to do it. Like I said, with the more advanced features, it can help. Now, I really do not know scripting yet. I'm taking my classes to learn how to script. I'm taking an HTML and CSS course right now. Um, but to do a scripting, it's real simple. You have a code block source, and you have a code block visual. Now, a code block visual, in other words, if you pull it out and you set it right here, we'll just quit out of that. It sets the actual code block. You can set it inside the page at a certain point. Code block source, when you pull it out, you actually select what position, header, start of the body, end of the body, or start of the document. So you can't just choose right in the middle of the document like you can with the visual block. Um, so if you go into all code, in other words, right here is code block 2. That's at the, because um, code block is set for the header, it's right here in the header above the header of the of the code of the um, whole website page code. Here's the other one. Here's the visual code block that's right in the middle of the page, you know, where I had placed it. So you can see where it, the that's where you can actually custom position each script that you place. Um, like I said, I really don't know anything about coding, but with uh, code blocks, you could choose a type if you want to do Java, PHP, CSS, HTML, or any other scripts. The code block visual, though, that's another story, is that's an HTML. That's a, as far as I know, that's all you can do is just an, <clears throat> an HTML script. So, um, Yes. Also, another way to do a little bit of scripting that I found is HT access. You could add a command line. You could do an error page management command. You could do a redirect page command. In other words, if you built a one pager real quick and then you built a whole other website off of that same one pager, you could redirect from the first page to your new home page automatically so when they type in www.yourdomainname.com it actually redirects it to whatever page you want or you could do a free script so you could actually free write any script you want into this in HTML format and so those are the ways you actually insert the code the all the coding that way you could actually do coding also when you create new elements you could write co uh, the coding to create a whole new element. Like right now, one of the first things I'm going to, one of the first elements I'm planning on creating is an element that takes an image and repositions it based off the size of the screen. You know, that way I could have just one website for my mobile and my desktop. It just repositions all the images and everything if it's. A different screen size. I'm, well, I'm hoping I can make an element that does that. It'd be really useful. But what I am going to show you real quick is an example of what I did for coding myself um, with my minimal experience in coding, almost non-existence. Existent is. Um, Let me pull out my site explorer, draw my element, and actually it's right here, code block, it's my mobile, here's my configuration. Now it's real simple code. If the screen width is less than or equal to 850 pixels wide, then it redirects to mobile.htm, which is my incomplete mobile page. I'm still working on and it redirects it to here so everything's lined up vertically like it would be for a typical cell phone rather than positioned and all laid out like it is on the desktop and so that's one 
of probably millions of ways you could use scripting in open element and it's pretty neat that they actually offer the ability to do drag and drop and script I think but if you really want to do some very advanced pages doing a uh, uh, what you want to do scripting is really key to building a great website that has full functionality and movement but what we're going to do in the next tutorial is go over all the different containers, container elements. And I will talk to you guys then, and happy building.